Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishra Malayala. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss about AEEE, that is Amrita Seat Allocation Process. So that is CSAP, usually called as CSAP. So I am here at this particular handbook of Amrita, which they released regarding this BTEC CSAP 2021 Centralized Seat Allotment Process. So they have given the introduction regarding that. So these are the campuses and branches offered, just you can check there. And now comes to eligibility criteria. You should be like born after 1st July 2000 and educational qualification is. So you should pass 10 plus 2 or it's equivalent examination with minimum 60% aggregate in Maths, Physics, Chemistry with not less than 55% in each subject. At least you should have 55% above in each and every subject and overall 60% above should be your score. And candidates must produce required documents on the day of coming to the campus or as when asked for by the admissions office and selection process candidate have applied through AEEE 2021 JEE main SAT PWE double e score only to this they are going to take the admission and there will be management quota also regarding management quota tomorrow I will be giving you an update regarding that an academy combat is once again back you can win a 4 core pool worth scholarship and uh, that is uh, on 22nd August 11 am 60 minutes 21 questions separate contests for class 11, 12 and droppers and here is a big chance to win big rewards be on the top leaderboard and grab the opportunity now so on the left you can see based on till 150 ranks so there are scholarship for subscriptions and you can enroll now using the link in the description and coming to spark batch taught by ex china faculty chaitanya narayana faculty this is also uh, some of the faculty who have experience teaching telugites i mean teaching telugu students so batch for uh, class 11th je main and advanced which is starting from 18th august so Alok Kumar sir, Nitin Sachan sir, KK Giri sir and Ashish Mishra sir. So all these are going to teach on an academy. For this particular batch, if you want to enroll or if any one of your uh, uh, friends or relatives wanted to enroll for this particular batch, use the link in the description and enroll now using the code CHIRANYT for which you will be getting extra 10% discount. And guys, I also usually regularly taking the classes on an academy. So if you want to join those classes freely, you can use my code CHERANYT and also my profile link is there in the description. Just go there and click on follow. So whenever I take a class, you will get a notification giving some tips in mathematics. So or if you want to see all that content, just use the use my profile link in the description and click on follow. So whenever I take a class, you will get a notification. And uh, this is about the annual fee structure. Just see, you can see Amrutapuri, Bengaluru and uh, Coimbatore and Chennai so all the campus wise slab wise percentage of seats are there and fees of each and every slab they mentioned only this is tuition fee so you can pause the video here and you can check that and uh, branch wise again so each and every branch differ with the fees and uh, then comes to hostel fees and mess fees which will be same in almost all everywhere so just see Coimbatore they have mentioned others they didn't mention it now it comes to BTEC branches so these are all the branches they have and now comes to so what is like uh, many students asking me regarding this particular thing so if at all we get slab 1 in first year so how to retain the slab 1 in the second third and fourth year for that you need to maintain CGPA so if you want to get slab 1 again you need to maintain 8 plus 8 plus CGPA and if you want slab 2 7.5 and if you want slab 3 7 if you maintain that only they will give and there are some conditions for it so no disciplinary action during the period of uh, study in the university and clearing each semester without any backlog okay that is very important failing to meet the four mentioned condition one two three the candidate will be required to pay the higher fees in the subsequent years if slab one students maintains eight above the same fees will be continued if fees or cgpa is between 7.8 slab two fees should be paid so based on the uh, cgpa you get you need to pay the fee if below seven the candidate will require to pay the fees of slab four a triple score you got for slab one and in the second year you got 6.5 that means you have to pay the fees of slab 4 now if in third year if you get the CGPA of 8.5 you can't go back so that is what so please maintain the CGPA accordingly in which slab you wanted to pay the fees so work for that now comes to registration AOAP so registrations are required to upload in AOAP their uh, HSC marks now I will be showing you so this is a, about this thing so I will show you now uh, just click on online application if you see on the documents upload so here so what you need to do is 12th original mark sheet so those who are having this short memo they can use them and upload them here so upload document you click on that and if at all you have any good uh, like compared to your february result your uh, july result is good so upload that you can delete this and upload that and um, now again other card so here if you at all you do there this is also fine or else you can also do here and click on upload document so this thing is first and mandatory thing 
and uh, next followed by CSA registration you have to register verification of OTP and fill the academic preferences and counselling fee payment done and you seat allotment trial first second and third what is meant by trial so it is something like mock test you write you know write mock test so for example if you have kept 10 or 10 choices based on your rank so they will give a dummy allotment so according to the preferences you fill so they will give you so you are going to expect this particular thing so this particular option you may get if you finalize these options order so that is what dummy so if at all after getting the allotment of dummy allotment that means trial allotment if you feel are if i am getting this so all the below options will be of no use right once we get this means if we apply for uh, improvisation so in that case there is no use of uh, below choices right so you need to bring that down or keep it above you can change after trial allotment also that is what about uh, trial allotment and in jos also this particular trial allotment will be there two times and the person tuition fee those who got seat allotment if they want to return they need to pay some of the tuition fee regarding that also they mentioned first and thing so phase one registration when you come to dashboard again so here you will be having a triple 2021 results so i already clicked here proceed so that is why it is like it is showing like this and just see here on the left amruta csap 2021 merit okay so click on that if you click on that just see proceed to csap process if you click here so you will be asked to either uh, verification from mobile or verification from email so send verification code means it will send a otp to your uh, mobile number and you have to enter that and you will complete that and then proceed for that so just see i am not going to do that because this is a, this is one student's account after verifying you will be having a allotment so here you need to fill the choices that, that is where you need to fill the choices for trial allotment so after trial allotment you will be given a choice for changing the interchanging the options that is important and after once you do this verification then you can proceed further and once you uh, fill the like uh, choices then you need to pay your fee payment that is of 5000 so if at all you wait till last round and you didn't got allotment you will get that amount back so now that you have uh, like you have seen till how to register for csap now it comes to most important thing so once you uh, verify with the otp you need to fill the choices then you need to pay the fees so how to fill the choices it should be combination of for campus and the program you are choosing and at least you should choose at least one minimum option and a maximum of 31 options you can choose out of all the availability option and now comes to there you, the, you like you can't repeat the options uh, once once again now comes to seat allotment you will be getting a trial allotment so once you fill the choices on uh, 9 like on 22nd you will be getting a trial allotment and on that day you will be having a chance of changing your already submitted options so you can't uh, newly enter some new options so that is what they said already submitted options can be changed on 22nd after you get the trial allotment so just wait for that particular moment so now you fill it properly and what you do is so if at all you are uh, like more if you are interested in so and so branch more than what you got in trial allotment so just keep that up so if at all you choose in slide option or any other option of you after you get allotment so there is a chance of uh, upgrading right so if at all there is a chance of upgrading and you got upgraded so you want uh, that below choice what you got in a trial allotment if you keep it above so there may be chance okay that is what i am saying so hope you got what i wanted to convey and uh, now comes to csap allotment so you will be having three rounds so first let me show you your schedule so if you see the schedule on 18th august today is the last day to register for csap so you, whatever i have shown you upload other card that is till september 10th you have that chance so but before like today is august 18th right so you need to register for csap that otp verification allotment uh, like uh, choosing allotment preferences and paying what how much amount 5000 so this for this particular three steps you today is the last day for round one allotment so for round two also you can freshly do that but now you can't do for round one so today is the last day for round one so once you are register that so reconciliation of payments what is meant by reconciliation so they will check the data they will verify the data so and amruta is going to do that and on 22nd you will be getting chance so you can say trial allotment and option to change the academic preferences already submitted so those who submit those options you are submitting today so you will be having a chance of changing them if at all you wanted to change that on 22nd august and on 23 24th again they will uh, reconciliation of data so they will once again verify all the data what are all the seats allotted so that means what are the changes made in the like after trial allotment so they will consider again and they will again start the uh, allotment process and on 25th they will giving you the result of first allotment so once they give the result of uh, first allotment 
So now those who got here two cases, one who got seat allotment and one who don't got seat allotment. So those who don't got seat allotment, they will be in the wait list and those who got seat allotment, they will have two options. One will be either to accepted one is or one more is confirmed and accepted. So those who are clicking accepted, there will be a chance of sliding. So if at all that student got fifth option, so there is a chance of like if you wanted uh, one, two, three, four options, so you can choose accepted and pay one lakh fee. In that case, he will be allowed for sliding. He may, if at all possible with his rank, he may get any of the four options with any of the slabs. So that is what if at all you are accepted for that, you can do that. And those who confirm and accept, so they need to pay, they also need to pay one lakh and they will be out of the counseling process. They will not be able to participate in further rounds. For example, I chose CSC in the first option and second option is E and I got CSC. That's it. I need not to participate. So if at all I need to like get good slab, for example, if I got slab three, I mean, if I want to try for slab one or two, then I can, I will choose accept and slide. So if at all I got slab one and CSC, that is more than enough for me and that is what I need. Then I will directly pay like click on confirm and accept and pay one lakh fees and uh, book that seat on my name. So and uh, before remaining date again we need to pay the remaining fees. So this is how the process when you got the allotment. So those who got allotment and those who didn't pay so that seat will be cancelled on his name. And after that after that, that after that day if at all the student want again so they will not going to allot that seat to him. So this is what will be continued till the last round and those who pay that five thousand. So till last round, if you don't get any allotment from the options you choose, then only your 5000 will be returned back. If you want to withdraw from the uh, like counseling in between, they are not going to withdraw your 5000. So if you want your 5000 back, that the only chance is you should not get any allotment till the last round. So that's it. So and, uh, and from October 1st, the counseling will be like classes will be started. So they are following uh, UGC guidelines properly. and. Uh, so you can see refund policies to you can see a refund policies will be uh, like they will follow the norms of UGC University Grants Commission. So this is what uh, they gave like till October 31st if you apply for after paying your tuition fee if you apply for refund then they will be giving you the full refund at max they may uh, deduct 1000 rupees only. So this is about the counseling process. So hope you got a clear cut idea on CSAP. Soon I will be making a video regarding SRM enrollment process also. Please stay tuned to that. Okay guys, uh, that's it for this video. If you find this as a time worthy video, please do like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.